a fire, a fire, fire round or whatever you call it. Like a fire off those questions. Bam, bam, bam. That's a good idea. Maybe next video. <laughs>
Yeah. And a personality. And two, like, I think we were both, like, pretty nervous. I for sure was. My girlfriends can attest to this, that I was super nervous when we met. Um, because, like, I had knew, known of you before, but, like, I didn't know you. And so, like, when we met at our, like, mutual friend's birthday, like, I was, like, freaking out. And, um, like, two, just, like, our conversations were very, like, you know, we were very, like, jittery. And um, we did a lot of, like, we, we danced at night, too, yeah, yeah. a lot. So, like, I was very focused on, like, just, like, oh, my gosh, like, I can't believe that, like, we yeah. were getting to know each other. And, like, I've, I've met this guy. So, um, yeah. yeah. All right. So, you looked past my, my speech. And mm -hmm. is this because... You didn't know what it was, or did you think that, um, or did you not know I had a stutter, or was it like obvious? Okay, he has a stutter, but I don't care. I don't think it's like I didn't care. Like it was like I think I don't I care is kind of like a throwing it off. I think it was just that you know when you recognize something in a person that's like very special and awesome you don't necessarily pay attention to the negative aspects that, you know, like you don't pay attention to like the negative parts of that person. You know, if you like see, I don't know, like what's a good example, so but like, like if you meet someone and yeah. you're like, wow, this person's super cool. And um, so you saw me struggling with my speech. So that would be like the negative aspect that you mm -hmm. said, like you look past and you, so, I, but see, the thing is, I don't think that you're stuttering. Like, I don't remember you stuttering, like, really badly yeah, but when see, we met. In my mind, it's completely different. I like, know. It was a train wreck. I was like, yeah, damn it. I know. But um, I also feel like I was in a place in my life where I, I was, like, putting myself out there. Like, I, mm -hmm. I was in a really accepting, I was very accepting of my speech at that point of my life. I wasn't necessarily mm -hmm. fluent, but I was just like, whatever. I am who I am. <laughs> Good. So, okay. Next question: Have Have you met anybody before me that has had a stutter? Oh, so okay. So to your last question, this kind of relates because I think I definitely didn't know like nearly as much about speech impediments as I do now. Definitely, we spent a lot of time like reading about it, researching it. Um, you've gone through a lot of different like ups and downs over the course of our relationship in terms of your speech impediment. Um, and also, I've learned a lot because my sister-in-law is a speech language pathologist. Oh, um, yeah. And so that's been like really cool to connect those dots. But um, in terms of like when I met you, did I know a lot? No. Um, but my grandfather had a speech impediment similar to yours, kind of. I mean, similar, but it was like very different. And I think that's like the pattern I've recognized with um, people like who have speech impediments is it's very unique to you. Like your experience is very unique to you. Um, in terms of my grandfather, he had a speech impediment that was sort of sparked, I guess, by a traumatic event. Oh. Yeah. So, um, but it was it like a stutter though. It was. was it like he had blocks. Blocks. Like yeah. I, he, yeah. Yeah. But it was different because it's not like he didn't. He didn't have blocks all the time. It mostly came out when he was um, like. He got upset or um, he was emotional um, that's when it came out um, but yeah but his stutter was also caused by a traumatic events so his was just like slightly and that's kind of what I learned through that. different yeah yeah it's a little bit different and also your sister-in-law is a speech therapist yeah speech language pathologist mm -hmm. I remember when I first found out about those two things that you're Grandpa had a stutter, and that your sister-in-law is a speech-language pathologist, or mm -hmm. at the time it was your future sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. I was so relieved um, going into first meeting your family. Mm -hmm. I was like, they understand stuttering. Like, mm -hmm. thank God. I remember also um, when I first met your sister-in-law. I got like, I just really wanted to talk to her. Yeah. To, like. Be completely open with her and be like, yes, I have a stutter in your speech. And you're, um, mm -hmm. you know, you, well, she was still in school then to be a yeah, speech she was still in school. Yeah. Like, I just wanted to speak to her and just break the ice and be like, I admire speech pathologists. I'm so happy mm -hmm. that you know you're you're here. And mm -hmm. it was great. And I also 
remember that conversation I had with your mom and dad about your grandpa and yeah. also like talking to them. I think it was on your birthday when your mom was <laughs> telling us about how you were born <laughs> here in this house. Great, great story. But uh, <laughs> uh, another time. I also asked asked uh, your dad about a speech and um, yeah, it was uh, mm -hmm. great to hear about this. this great man mm -hmm. uh, who your grandpa was and how nobody could find him um, mm -hmm. by a speech you know it yeah. was, it was uh, awesome to hear and it like definitely probably made things more comfortable for you because yeah. I think meeting someone's parents is already super nerve-wracking oh, like when I was when I first met your parents I was like uh I don't know what to do um and so I think like obviously that's a super nerve-wracking and you want to come off like you know you want to show the best side of yourself like you're meeting someone's parents and super important and like you want to make sure you give up a good impression oh, yeah. and so I think for you I remember us talking like you were like I'm you know like I have this and this and I want to make sure that I give the right impression um and I was yeah. like don't even worry about it like you know your your my parents are going to see what I see in you at the end of the day and yeah. that's only good things and that's how it is now you know yeah exactly um, and let me tell you guys that I almost every time I speak to Dominica's family, you know, I stutter, you know, and I've not once, you know, have been ignored. They always hear me out and they don't treat me like, you know, um, special or anything, you know, they just treat me honestly like I'm part of the family and, and it's great. So this. Next question mm -hmm. is kind of um, dark or deep. I don't know, but answer it truthfully. Uh -oh. Like, um, has my stutter and like even in like or especially in social situations where I we're in a group of friends and I stutter like the spotlight's on me. It's my turn to speak, and I get a hard block where I you know. My face is like all tight and I could even be twitching because I'm trying so hard to get mm -hmm. this word out. Has that ever like em embarrassed you or like made you feel embarrassed uh, for me or embarrassed for yourself because all these people are like seeing me, you know, not able to talk? No, no, not at all. Yeah, not one bit. I think it comes back to the thing of like, you know, my impression of you when we first met had nothing to do with um, your stutter. It had everything to do with the person you are and just kind of like seeing who you are. And I think that like the friends we have and the people that we hang out with are the same way. You know, if, if we, it, it was a different story if like I had like really mean friends or whatever who were like mean, but like that's not the case at all. My friends are awesome and my family is like is very loving and so is yours and so yeah. are your friends you know like we surround ourselves with um awesome people and so like not once like have I felt that way because I'm not embarrassed at all and like you know this is just a part of you you know it's not yeah. the biggest part of the most important part um oh. so yeah <laughs> uh, but it's good to do these videos after yeah, you, honestly. <laughs> you should uh see Dominica like after somebody like ignores my stutter or like um, says something about it she goes off like she's like who is this person where can I find her? <laughs> I'm ready uh, to it's fight. It's pretty funny but um well, yeah, because that's very hard, like, that's very hard, you know, because yeah. I kind of have, like, secondhand, I mean, I don't think you get angry no. as much as... I used to get angry yeah. in the past, but... And now I get angry, because yeah. I'm just, like, it just kind of sucks, you know, to anyone, like, when anyone is ignored, or when anyone is, like, unheard, or treated, like, you know, poorly, like, it's just hard to see, yeah. especially I, if it's, you know, you. Yeah, I remember a situation once, I was at a party, I was talking with somebody, like, having a honest like conversation back and mm -hmm. forth and then I got stuck I got stuck for like it felt like hours but it was like probably like 20 seconds 25 seconds maybe I was like trying to get it out like mm -hmm. and this person just 
walks away from me as if like we ended the conversation. And honestly, like that, that hurt me so much. Um, mm -hmm. She weren't at this party, yeah. but I was like, damn, Mika, like, I just like, I feel defeated. I feel, you know, um, like I was like, ignored and mm. I, you like exploded. You called me right away. You're like, who is this person? But, yeah. Yeah. Cause that's hard because especially since already, you know, I think speaking fluently for you is like your biggest motivation and it is yeah. very, it takes a lot. And so I think when you have those kind of moments that seem like they're a little bit, like they're definitely hard pills to swallow. Yeah. Like it's very hard because it goes back into like the mental aspects of it, you know, where yeah. you're like beating yourself up. Yeah. And um, next question. Uh -oh. So this is, um, answer it honestly uh, uh -oh. <laughs> and we just finished a part of our marriage prep so um please <laughs> tell the truth yeah we'll tell. <laughs> so during any of our arguments where things get heated uh -huh. you know and i think i'm right and or you think okay, you're right, right yeah. and we're like on the defense on the offense uh -huh. and say a situation where um I'm like on the offense, like um, saying like I'm I'm right here, and say mm -hmm. in that instance, which is very rare, like I'm actually right, but it's not rare. <laughs> but uh, I uh, I like get blocked, and you're mm -hmm. already stressed out. You're already like annoyed with me because I'm trying to prove you wrong, and I get locked and I can't get a word out does that annoy you do you get annoyed you're like just say it like what's you know no I think well first off I think when you get angry you speak very fluently sometimes both of at least with me like most of the times when you're angry you're like I'm like okay okay like I see you um no no I've never no I've never gotten annoyed let me think um I guess like, yeah, because I honestly can't remember like a time where you had like a hard block when we were having an argument. Um, but if we are and you get a hard block, usually that's when I realize that I'm wrong. <laughs> and I just have to drop it because usually it's just like some kind of petty thing. And then you're just like, come on, like, you know, like listen to like, you know, reason. And I'm over here still like trying to be stubborn. Um, but, but yeah, it, yeah. But you, you, when you get angry, you rarely stutter. Cause yeah. like you, you know, you're. I feel like, especially when I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so convinced, and I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. So. Has but like, so my stutter has never made you like impatient. Like, come on, just say it because mm. we're in a hurry or in a rush or, you know, like, oh. get your point across. No, I mean, I think this is something we've talked about a lot is that like since we started um, to date and like obviously with that comes getting to know yeah. each other pretty deeply. Oh, yeah. um, I've definitely one of the biggest things like in learning like specifically about kind of speech imp impediment and obviously there's so many other facets of you. Um, but like specifically learning about that and reading about it or like reading together or like incorporating like speech exercises into like let's say our weekly routine or whatever yeah. it is um i think it's definitely helped me become a better listener i definitely say like before i met you i was not a good listener <laughs> like i mean like i would listen to people but i think like actually being an active listener is much different than just listening because if you know if you're just like passively listening you're not and that's something I learned about myself is like I wasn't like, you know, actively listening where you like invest your time in, in that person, what yeah. they're trying to say. Um, does that answer that question? Yeah, it does. Okay. So, yeah, and um, I, honestly, from my perspective, I've never felt you being impatient with me when it comes mm -hmm. to my speech. All right. This one, this next one is also kind of deep because um, uh -oh. for any stutter out there that's like, that wants to date, like, for the long term, like, as in they want to date, they're not going, they're not coming back 
basically from the they don't want to go to the grocery store and come back empty-handed they want to go to the grocery store and get the food they need I like and that analogy. take it home so as in dating to like marry for like the long term so this is for for a purpose for a purpose so this yeah. question is uh more geared towards people as putter with a with uh this in mind so have you ever worried that down the line i stutter could like negatively impact us like have you ever thought like what if i lose my job because i like my stutter gets worse and i can't communicate with people around me or like say mentally i'm just like i give up my speech is so bad i quit have you ever had those fears where, where like oh i don't know if um this guy can provide me with ability because of his stutter well no that's a that's actually like a, a deep question and but my answer is no because like i think you have a very strong character and i think that that's where that's like the difficult part where you have to kind of put in the work so that you don't become like that you know this like victim of your stutter where you become this like you know you kind you you know that you have this issue but you're working on it and i've never We've never encountered anything. I've never encountered anything where you're like, I give up, like, this is too hard. No, like, you've always been like, okay, that was really hard and that hurts and that sucks, but I'm going to try again. And I think that, that that really makes or breaks a person because it, lately, let's say if, you know, you kind of gave up or you were like, it's not worth it, you know, I'm just going to sit in, you know, a dark room all day and cry, then that wouldn't be good. You know, that's, um, and like, wait, actually, I actually shouldn't say that or laugh about no, it because that's, that's hard. That's hard. Like hard. people experience that and you've yeah. experienced that. Yeah. I was going to say like, I've experienced that in high school, even in yeah. high school, like I was already like, you know, in a, like almost an adult and I would still come mm -hmm. home and be so discouraged and not want to do anything and just lock myself in my room. Well, no, the reason that I like went back to that too is because yeah. like there's a reason people do that because like, yeah, it gets really hard and it gets yeah. mentally draining and there's a reason that like you feel like the whole world is against you and no oh, yeah. one's going to understand. Um, but like, I think that there are there like for you to make changes and for anyone, like regardless of what problem you have or like what you're struggling with, like for you to improve on that and, and yourself, like yeah. you have to have that, like, okay, like I'm just going to be like 1% better tomorrow. Or like in your case, I mean, you can probably talk more about this, but like, you know, I'm going to spend five more minutes like reading out loud tomorrow or talking out yeah. loud. So, yeah, I think that that really differentiates, um, losers like a person, winners. yeah, losers and winners for sure, because like a winner is going to go after it. And like, even though there's all these challenges, you know, you're going to, yeah. you're going to go after it and you're going to do what you have to do. Well, there's always ups and downs, you know? Oh yeah. 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 I mean, throughout the whole road, there's going to oh, yeah. be a lot of ups and downs and you definitely experience a lot of ups and downs and so have I and yeah. so have we all. Everybody has. Yeah. So now on to a lighter question. Yay. Not as deep, but it's it's, it's all about my stutter. Um, what goes through your mind when I'm having a block? Like, what is going through your mind when mm -hmm. you see me, like, excited about something, talking about something, and then I'm just like stuck for like five mm -hmm. to ten seconds just trying to get something out? What what what's going through? Well, like when we're talking. Yeah, together. or like. When we're talking together or when I'm talking to somebody else. Can like you when you're that? excited about something? Yeah, because especially mm -hmm. when I'm excited, my stutter gets exacerbated. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what goes through your mind? Or I don't know. I mean, like, I think because, like, I'm invested in what you want to say, like, I'm genuinely interested in what, like, in, you know, what excites you excites me too, you know, at this point. Yeah. It's like we have very similar interests. And so... I don't, I guess, I guess it's because I know you so deeply, I don't really, like, I don't really focus on your stutter, but more so just, like, on the things you say, you yeah. know, and if it takes you five seconds longer to say it, like, I'm, I'm still here, <laughs> like, I'm still hanging out, I'm not gonna go anywhere, um, and to you, I think five seconds seems much longer seems than like it does eternity. for me, Jeez. yeah, for you, it's, like, you know, infinity, but for me, it's just, like, 
All right, I'm excited to hear what you want to say. I'm not, it's not like I'm going anywhere. Yeah. I know, I'm not sure if, it, yeah, it was you uh, a few weeks ago how I asked you, like, do you ever feel like I'm not breathing enough when I talk? Because I know mm -hmm. we talked about this because I was um, recently interviewed on a podcast and throughout the whole thing, I was like not breathing enough and I was stuttering so badly. And even as I was watching, I was like, breathe, why aren't you breathing? Like, that's why mm -hmm. you're stuttering. And, I, and even like, I was out of breath for myself mm -hmm. in the past, you know, when I was just in my room watching this interview. Have you ever mm -hmm. felt that towards me? That like I'm like breathe 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 yeah well I think there's a lot that goes into that you know especially when you're excited about something or frustrated about something or want to like want, really want to say something yeah then like your mind is like okay you want to say it, you want to say it but then like when you're speaking like you know you can't follow that same you know that same mechanism that goes on in your mind and so yeah. um I think it really comes out when you're excited but yeah breathing exercises are super important um, yeah. and, and that's what you've done. Have I ever felt like that, that I like, I'm like, breathe, breathe, breathe. I mean, yeah, like there's times where like, you know, like you yourself forget, like, because you're so excited and, and yeah, but at the same time, I think that like, at the end of the day, does that, is that something that helps you? And I'm like, sometimes, you know? but I guess if I'm already at that point, there's very little that can help me. Yeah. If I'm already that excited, like nothing is going to calm me down aside from a good night's rest, eight hours. Yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. Uh, so yeah. Um, so I think that's about it for questions from me. Do you have any questions for me? Anything you want to ask me? Anything? I have a lot of, I think of some juicy questions. <laughs> Can you? Um, well, 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 uh -oh. you proposed to me yes. a year and a half ago. I did. Oh, what was that like for you? Oh man, it that was, was that was tough. Wasn't it was it? tough. That I was a fun moment. Stuttered uh, a bit. Um, you know, honestly, I don't even. Know if I don't I think stuttered. you stuttered. Honestly, I feel like, I was, like I had like I don't know. My blood was just like rushing to my heart, and you were I was in like just, a different. Like we were like gone. Like different we were not dimension. Here. I yeah. I felt like I was so nervous that I don't even remember if I stuttered or not. But I mm -hmm. know that I did get out all the words that I wanted to mm -hmm. get out, and um, I for sure wouldn't let my stutter dictate what I say and not say in that uh, situation. Um, it was good. I was I wasn't really nervous about stuttering. I mm -hmm. was just nervous about your reaction and it being perfect which which is hard which that's is hard, hard. yeah that's which hard. in a way it was perfect but it was, it was very almost perfect. nothing like how i planned it and but you know what that makes it even more memorable makes it even honestly. better so yeah. yeah yeah that was really good that's good it was an good awesome times. freaking day also like too i think this would be interesting because one thing i've experienced is like you know when you find things that, like you also know if you one of my girlfriend's uh sister has a speech impediment that you bonded with her over yeah and i think like now like you know when you meet people who have speech impediments it's also like you know kind of building this community yeah. also it's like we're spreading. automatically friends yeah know? yeah like, exactly when i met brother one i was like i understand <laughs> you know <laughs> and like with yeah. your uh girlfriend sister like we immediately bonded mm -hmm. i remember that like first conversation I was like hey yeah I already have a stutter <laughs> yeah <High five. laughs> yeah and what is it about that that like makes I don't you know guys it's, instant friends? it's it's like we share um the struggle you know we yeah. share that burden we've I'm sure we've both been in those situations where you know we came home just sad and like discouraged mm -hmm. but we came out of it you know and that's like something hard and something significant and something you know yeah definitely bond over and it's not awesome like the way that you feel when you're around like other people who share similar struggles oh like yeah definitely them it is yeah and you've been able to build a lot of cool relationships through that yeah. too 
Best ever do. Honestly, uh, one of the... Why haven't you see question? Why would you... What would be your reaction if I had a speech impediment? Whoa, Juicy. that's a good question. Juicy. And Juicy. would I in this... Uh, oh, I have another juicy question. In, hold on. <laughs> okay. In this universe where you have a stutter, would I have a stutter? Or would I be fluent? I don't know. Let's just say you still have a stutter. Okay, if I still had a stutter, I think we would immensely bond over that. Yeah, I we think, would. Um, I don't know about how it is with uh, people that stutter, but me, I sometimes, and this is horrible, I get carried away and think of my problems are the worst. Like, mm -hmm. I have an actual stutter. What do you have? Just <laughs> depression, anxiety? Like, That's so it's mean. horrible. It's, it's, so it's horrible. <laughs> and uh, my mom even would say, all you have is a stutter. There are people out there that were born without an arm. And yeah. I'm just like, at least they can speak for me, you know? Well, that's, that's because that's just, just like, yeah, it's, that's how it would help yeah. everyone, I think. And so I think yeah. if we both had a stutter, I think that would be uh, interesting to mention to our D yeah, relationship be... where we actively, every day, have to humble ourselves like, nope, yeah, yeah, my yeah. stutter isn't worse than his stutter, you know? Yeah, 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 that's true. So um, I, would, I would still love you the same. Yeah. Also, the other juicy question that I had was, um, did you ever get, like, frustrated with me that, like, I don't understand or, like, you're like, you don't um, get it. You don't understand how it feels. I remember, um, and I, how did you would, approach I would only be frustrated if you would, like, interrupt me in the midst of having a block. Yeah. Or, um. Finish your sentences. Or finish my sentence, yeah. especially during an argument or... Um, I literally just did that, by the way. I'm yeah, still that's the okay. Worst. But uh, you're not the worst. But I'm still it learning. Was only in yeah. uh, those situations where I would get frustrated. Sometimes mm -hmm. I would like hey, be like, hey, you know, even in the midst of a heated argument, I would just be like, hey, stop. That. Mm -hmm. well, let's step back, you know, because um, we're not, you know, being ourselves here. We're mm -hmm. influenced strongly by emotions, and I don't want to accuse you of like not respecting my stutter or something as you know we just talked about mm -hmm. love that part of me so i don't know i think yeah i've i also think uh before i really met you not before i was met you, but like during our first few arguments i was like hyper sensitive to you like attacking my speech rather than what the really? argument was about like i dare you to say something about my what? right now and i win this argument you know <laughs> automatic win automatic Stutter win. card um so but i think that's just because of my past experiences yeah. you know how people have done things like that to me yeah, where they that's low. Attack my stutter in like heated situations, but yeah, I don't think I've um, I've never really thought you were judging me for my stutter or any like negative thoughts. Like with my hand on my heart, I've never experienced that. I'm blessed. Too blessed to blessed. be stressed. All right, so there you have it. Those were a uh, few juicy questions uh, related to my stutter. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned. I'm going to try to have a video out once a month. I want to interview Dominika's sister-in-law. Uh, she's a speech language pathologist. So we could talk about uh, speech therapies and stuttering. She doesn't really specialize in fluency, but she learned about it in school. She knows people who do specialize in fluency, and she also um, works with the pediatric population. So it'll be cool to uh, talk with her. Yeah. Yay. Yep. Do you have anything to add? This was really fun. It, this was fun. I yeah. think um, we should do this more often. 
maybe you'll be a recurring guest. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. All right, guys. Um, please like and subscribe. That sounds kind of cliche, but ring the bell and uh, stay tuned. I'll, yeah, like I said, new video every month. Ciao. <laughs>